So as middle school director, I get to award uh, our, our biggest award at this level, um, which all the faculty vote on, the Crusader Award, which is given to the middle school student who best lived out on a daily basis the ideals of Aquinas Academy and who consistently displayed diligence in studies, charity to classmates, respect for teachers, and love of God. For those who don't know, every Thursday throughout the year, there is a short middle school assembly. The majority of these assemblies are spent with announcements about upcoming events or schedules, but we also include fun elements like game show style drawings for dress down days and so on. However, another staple of these assemblies is a short talk about character or about how to handle stressful or difficult situations or how to walk the path of holiness. In these talks, there's a little theme that features prominently which I actually don't think the students are fully aware of. And their ignorance probably stems from the fact that I've never really told them that this theme exists. So if you're an eighth grader, think back on the past couple years on what these talks were. And if you're a sixth or seventh grader, well, here's an insight into my mind and what I typically focus on, which I'll probably have to change now because I can't let you know that. The theme is the small things. It's always tempting to discuss the big things that occur in middle school, like how to get along, or self-respect, or confidence, or academics, and we do talk about those things, but not at these assemblies. You see, it's the small pieces of thread that make the beautiful clothing. It's the minute brushstrokes of the painter that make the work come alive. It's the small sacrifices in life that prepare us for the bigger ones that inevitably come our way. It's in the small acts of love that we show our spouses, our sisters and brothers, our children, our boyfriends and girlfriends, just how much we love them. And the fact is, the small things add up. How is a building built? Does it just drop out of the sky one day? No, it does not. It's the brick by brick, tile by tile, stud by stud. It's the step by step, small acts, small deeds, small materials that eventually create the finished product. This year's Crusader Award winner lives the small acts. When we were discussing the award, every single teacher said, that they've witnessed her performing many, many small acts throughout the years. We've seen her stay behind and help her clean up a room at the end of the day. We've seen her be the first to draw everyone's attention to the task at hand. We've noticed her offer to help others, volunteer for a difficult task, organize her team for our weekly challenge, help set up for the play, and so much more. And if you're saying to yourself right now, that the small deeds aren't important or aren't worthy of mention. Then I quote for you, well done, good and faithful servant, because you have been faithful in the small things, I put you in charge of greater things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. St. Jose Maria Escriva, reflecting on those words of the Lord says, now, will you disdain the small things if heaven itself promises eternal life to those who keep them? It is the little things that begin the pathway to heaven. So how could we not have noticed when one eighth grader has been faithful in the little things? In fact, on the last day of school for the eighth grade, when everyone else had left, and there was no one else except for this one student cleaning out her locker. I was there too. And she wasn't aware, but I noticed that while she was cleaning out her locker, she was also cleaning up the whole hallway. No one else was there to see it. It was just to help someone else. On her last day, last day in eighth grade, she was still faithfully living the small things. It is our hope that you take this award, deservedly earned, and become faithful in greater things.
On behalf of the Aquinas Academy Middle School faculty, it is my honor to present this year's Crusader Award to Ashlyn Knox.